Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the Bismarck. And I know what you're probably thinking. Why is Spartan in the Bismarck this time? Well, it's partly because I wanted to play the Bismarck, which is scary in its own right. But the other part is that Wargaming's Advent Calendar uh, has a thing on there for 500 secondary hits. Uh, and this is the game that I finished it in. Uh, it only took me like five five games total. Uh, I was averaging over 100, 100 secondary hits per game. There was a couple of them that I had more than 100. Uh, I think, I, but there was there was a couple that ended up like less than 100 as well. Um, one that I got a little too aggressive with and ended up dying pretty quickly, so I only got like 40 hits in it, uh, that sort of thing. But this is not one of those. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna play aggressive. I'm gonna play real aggressive, and my team is gonna kind of um, disappear. It's gonna be interesting. You'll see what I'm talking about later on. I uh, hope you guys had a great day. Uh, if you guys want to see more pictures that I take on a regular basis, don't forget to head on over to my Instagram. On my YouTube page, you'll see the link for my Instagram right up there in the top right corner, uh, right at the edge of the banner. And uh, yeah, I, I enjoy taking pictures of everything, whether it's food or whatever. And I uh, had an interesting comment on my uh, fish salad, as he calls it, instead of a grilled salmon salad, which was fantastic, by the way. Um, guy comes on there, he's like, oh, it's a, uh, men don't take pictures of their food before they eat. Oh, crap. You're, you must be real worried about your masculinity if you are so, like, headstrong in the fact that you just don't want to do anything like take a picture. Like, seriously? taking a picture that's what you pull the man card for good lord dude grow up not to mention it's incredibly sexist and there's no room for that on the channel I don't play with those games you want to find yourself banned real quickly say stupid crap leave the stupid crap to me <laughs> anyway now that all that's out of the way I do take a lot of pictures and I post them on my Instagram, so if you guys want to check out some, some fun pictures. I'm not a photographer, but I do enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, you definitely ought to. And, oh my god, we just hit a guy at maximum range with, what is it, three or five shells. I can't really count. <laughs> but 12,000 damage on an opening salvo at high range. By the way, in the middle of this, I managed to hit an Odin at 19 kilometers. Yes, my Bismarck can reach out to 19 kilometers. <laughs> and it's a it's uh still it's got the tank build isn't that great it's amazing i enjoy the crap out of it anyway uh i hit an odin at 19 kilometers and citadeled him it was glorious i was not expecting to be able to hit anything at 19 kilometers i figured the dispersion would be so bad you wouldn't be able to hit anything but the dispersion has gotten so much better Ever since they added the, the secondary buff to this thing, the secondaries are good. I mean, look at what we're doing already. Like, they are so much more effective than they ever were. But not just the secondaries. The main guns are pretty decent. I mean, they're not Iowa's or uh, what's another good battleship? Iowa's? <laughs> Alabama. Yeah, it's Alabama that gets some good dispersion occasionally. Um, but... But they're still pretty good, and they're, they're a lot more consistent. And consistency I can deal with as we get another 9,000 and we we uh, take out one of the turrets for a little bit on the Sharn Horse. But uh, you can see we've got some guys here that are broadside on. The secondaries just don't stop fire. Once I get within 11 and a half kilometers of the enemy, it's just constant. There's I, I, was, I really enjoy it when I get in between two ships. And the secondaries are fired off both sides, which is why I don't really want manual fire control for secondaries. Because if you use manual fire control on secondaries on PC, only the side that you target will fire. So if you're in between two ships, that the other side is not doing anything. Um, but it would be nice to be able to, like, say I'm targeting the Odin right now. That should be the ship that my secondaries are focusing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if if the other side has shots, that's fine. But I'm saying, like, in particular, if, if I'm looking at a specific ship like a destroyer, I want to shoot and kill the destroyer, not continue to target a battleship or cruiser. You know, the destroyer is the, the priority target. There should be some 
Maybe that's what they need to do. Maybe they need to add some sort of priority to the secondaries so that when, uh, when they are firing at multiple ships, that they give priority to, say, a destroyer rather than a battleship. If you have multiple enemies on the same side of the ship. But uh, right now, it's just kind of sporadic who it decides to shoot at. I don't, I don't know any rhyme or reason why it shoots at one over another. But uh, it definitely does get annoying when you're trying to shoot those destroyers and just doesn't, doesn't focus them. Um, but that being said, we're up to 41,000 damage. We're about to get a decent... Nope, never mind. We got an overpin and no damage. Um, but you can see Akatsuki out here. I'm not going to lie. This is a fun one. Shot out. Akatsuki turning, not paying attention to what I'm doing, and down he goes. See, that that was something that was very hard for me to do in the uh, Bismarck before. And I'm not going to lie, my my average damage in the Bismarck right now is like 80,000 damage, which is above my normal average damage per game, okay? Which is something to say about that, you know, that's, that's pretty good. Now, this Fiji makes a huge mistake. First of all, he, he lays a smoke and then sails out of his smoke to try to get the other side of his torpedoes off, and I just walloped him. Just took all of that health. And my secondaries are going to do a pretty good job of trying to finish him off, except in true Spartan fashion, they're going to get finished by everybody around me rather than anything that I'm doing. My secondaries are setting fires. He's burning, but I believe it's the Azuma that manages to touch him. Yeah, Azuma manages to touch him. Now, the Azuma and the, uh, what else was out there? A York. Both full health. Both as far away from the action as possible. And they're both in heavy cruisers. One of them's in a super cruiser. Well, essentially. And, uh, so I, I got a little salty here in a moment. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I do make a bit of a mistake here. Uh, and I'll, I'll explain that in a moment. There's a Sharnhorst about to charge me. I know that there's a Sharnhorst about to charge me. Sharnhorst has torpedoes on both sides of his ship. He's coming out, he's launching his torpedoes off of his starboard side, and then he's gonna turn all the way in and launch the torpedoes off of his port side. Now we take a shot into trying to get it into a superstructure, ended up bouncing most of those rounds, which is unfortunate, they went a little low. We know his torpedoes are coming, there they are. Uh, we are able to dodge, no problem. But I burn my damage con when I get set on fire again. See, now we're on fire twice. Yeah, that was unnecessary and could have killed me right there. Not gonna lie. Because I can't avoid the second set of torpedoes. From this close, I turn to avoid the first set. He, he connects on all three. We do survive, but he connects with all three. And unfortunately, this Mogami out here is going to finish me off. Shooting AP nonetheless. What are the odds of that? But, uh, yeah, this is about the time that I look back and I'm like, what the heck are you guys doing? Seriously. You got a York that's all the way on Estuary trying to figure out where he's supposed to be. You got an Azuma who's gotten kills, but no real actual damage. He's finished off people that I've gotten low health for the most part. But uh, he's got three kills, I believe, at the end of this. Uh, but it's just one of those things where you look at him and you're like, guys, if you had moved in closer... I would have lived, but you guys just decide, ah, oh, we don't want to do that. We, we want to run away. We want to... You've got to learn to trade hit points, guys. Um, and that Mogami is the perfect example. Mogami takes me out and then dies immediately. If these guys were any closer, they could have killed the Mogami before he ever got a shot off to kill me. You know, those are the sorts of things that, that annoy me about people that, that decide that they want to hide all the way in the back. Uh, the previous match was another decent one for me. It was the one that I died pretty early in, but I still got like 70,000, 78,000 damage, uh, which is pretty average for me. Um, but there was there was a, uh, a Wichita that refused to engage the enemy. 27 millimeter bow armor, immune to 15 inch guns, and it refused to fight the enemy at all. It just stayed behind islands the entire game. But we end up third on the team. 1,934 base XP, not too shabby. We would have ended up over 2,000 if we would have finished those guys off, but Azuma gets the credit for that. And you can see York is all the way at the bottom of the leaderboard where he should be. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.